Oh. Yeah. Fellow babies, Rohan has given me grief because he doesn't like my intro. Welcome to this week's Pack Attack. This week's next question comes from Dijani. Is that how you say it? D-J-A-N-N-I-H. Johnny. Johnny. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Packer. What do you believe the reason for is for Nintendo holding back on the specs for Wii U? Uh, there's a couple of reasons, I think. I think, one, they're probably not certain exactly what their final specs are going to be. And when I say that, they have the CPU, GPU down, absolutely, because uh, developers are making games for it. But as far as, you know, disk drive or abs absence of a disk drive or flash memory, whether it's 4 gigs or 8 gigs, uh, whether there'll be, you know, eight USB ports or two. I think they're just waiting to see what commodity prices are like, see what the assembly is going to cost them. They kind of have to go final at least three, four months before the thing launches. So I think you'll hear specs around E3. I think you should look for around a late October launch. That makes sense. And I think once they've nailed down what the cost is, then they can price the thing. Uh, you're hearing people doing a so-called breakdown saying it's going to cost 180 bucks. They're making up specs, they don't know. So the question is, you know, did the breakdown have four gigs of flash or 16? Obviously the price for 16 gigs is probably $10 more, so that'll change the cost of, uh, of the device. I'm hopeful that Nintendo figures out that you probably need a bit more memory in order to play multiplayer, and I hope they put a bit more in, but that's gonna drive the cost up. At Master V Assassin. With multi-platform release of Assassin's Creed 3 on October 30th, is it three? It's like five, right? It's not three. Um, on October 30th, including Wii U, will Wii U be re released prior to October 30th? Uh, the answer is nobody has any clue, including Ubisoft. Uh, the game will come out on October 30th. It'll come out on Wii U if there is a Wii U by then. If there's not a Wii U by then, guess what? It's gonna be held until the Wii U launches. Uh, I think, it's likely that Nintendo is shooting for about that date on Wii U. You know, historically, we haven't really gotten console launches in the U.S. and Europe past about November 15th, so, so October 30th sounds totally reasonable to me. Um, but I don't think anybody has any clue. Nintendo does what Nintendo decides to do. Uh, they're certainly not going to consult with me first. So I have no idea. Uh, we'll probably hear the firm date at E3, so stay tuned because E3 is still a meaningful show, and I'm going, and I will be glad to tell you as soon as I hear about it. Maybe I'll even tweet it, but I'll probably be the 4,000th person, person to tweet it. So again, don't know. All right, this week's next question from Christian007, who needs to learn how to spell. Hello, Patcher. That's not my name, so I'm not sure I'll answer it, Christian. Not game-related, but still interesting. How well will Google do with their new Project Glass first interconnect, internet-connected glasses? Uh, interesting maybe to you, not to me at all. Um, internet connected glasses, the answer is not well at all. Look around you. Other than Rohan and me, who do you know who wears glasses? Just us old farts. People don't wear glasses. Nobody wants to wear glasses. 3D TVs don't sell because people don't want to wear glasses. So I can't wait to get internet co connected glasses. I can surf the internet when I'm driving. That sounds really safe. Um, I would say, they're not gonna do well. It's never gonna be a commercial product. Forget it. I don't think that's interesting. And my name is Pactor, not Patcher. Pay attention. All right, fellow babies. If you have a question for me, please submit them at the link below or directly to me on Twitter at Michael Pactor. If you follow me, I will answer them directly. If you don't follow me, I won't answer them. And if you have a question for the show, at Michael Pactor on Twitter, and copy at Rohan Likes Pants because Rohan picks all the questions.